So in this video, I'm going to set up a DEX trading robot and I'm on the dashboard and I'm on the tab that says trading bots. So I'm just going to click on this plus sign. Now because I'm setting up a DEX robot, the first thing I need to do is to change the exchange from Binance over to PancakeSwap. And uh, I want to make sure that my MetaMask wallet's connected. As you can see, it's picked up my MetaMask wallet. It shows that I've got 138 USDT. At the moment, it's got this trading pair. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one up for Beam, and I'm going to do it this one here. Now, I haven't approved the Beam inside my wallet. I've not traded this token before. So, as you can see there, it's in red, and it says approved zero. So, I need to change that before I do anything else. And to do that, I click on this change button. That opens up my MetaMask wallet. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that default number. I don't want to change that at all because I want the bot to keep on trading. So I'm just going to click next, and then I'm going to click approve. So as you can see now, that's all done, and I've approved 20 billion tokens uh, with the smart contract. The next thing I want to do is I want to come over here to make sure it's active, and I'm going to put it on infinite run. Now, I'm going to change some of the bot settings, so I'm going to come up the top and go to expert mode. So I'm going to toggle that on. As you can see, it opens up a couple of other boxes. Now, I'm going to do trades of $50. And as you can see here, this maximum allocated funds says 1,555. Well, I don't want to opt to use that amount. I want to come down the bottom here to the strategy editor. And then all I'm going to do is get rid of some of these lots. So I'm going to delete a lot of lots off the bottom. And all I need to do is to click on this dustbin over here or this garbage bin. And that will start to delete them off. And you'll see in a minute that I'll get down to the desired number. And if you look here, you'll see that this number will keep going down as I delete them. So it says 655. See, it's going down, it's going down. So I've got it down to three lots now, okay? Uh, and I'm going to get rid of that one. And uh, now I've got it down to two lots. Now, at the moment, my two lots, it says that you know, it's lot zero, which is the very first trade it will do. It will spend $50, and it's waiting for a move in the market to go up by 0 0.01. And then this next lot, which is lot one, it says that the price has got to drop by 2%. Well, I'm going to change that. I'm going to put that down to uh, 10%. This pullback, I'm going to leave that at 0 0.5. This here is 100%, which means it's going to... if if it needs to buy this lot one, it's going to use 100% of the initial order. So that was $50. This would use $50 as well because that's set to 100. So if I put that to 50, just to show you, that will drop down to 25. So I'm going to leave that at 50 because I want the, the next order to be 25. And then this here has got the average setting. And if you see over here, there's nothing in this box here. Well, I want to change this to an independent. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to change this here. This is the keep profits. Now, this keep profits means if the bot gets down to buying this lot one and it sells that lot one, so it makes a profit on it, there's a percentage that it will show me that I've earned and there's a percentage that the bot will allocate to this lot to bring down the amount of money that was spent on this lot. So that 90% means that I would be shown 90% and the bot would use 10%. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at 10%. So it will show me that I've earned 10% from the profit that's made. And the other 90% will bring this lot down. So this will help my bot. If it, you know, it buys in here and then it buys this lot here and it makes a profit, it will keep some of the funds and bring down the dollar cost average of this lot here. And which will mean the bot can release the funds, you know, can sell it in a profit. So that's what I'm going to do there. You can see here, you can't change this setting here on this one at the top. That one's hard coded, so you can't change that. You could change this number if you want to. And if I, what I want to do now is before I save this bot, I'm going to come back up the top and we're going to look at this section up here. And I'm going to have a look at the, the chart. Now I can see on the chart, this is more or less the bottom. So that's zero. 0.01663. So I'm going to come back to Johnny Blockchain and I've duplicated it. So I've got two tabs open. Okay. And what I'm going to do is come to the wallet and I'm going to go to the earnings calculator and I'm going to use this calculator here. Now, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put 
the price of the lowest drop, which was somewhere around there, so at 0 0.1662. So I'm going to put in here 0 0.01662. And then I'm going to put in the price, what it is right now. So it's uh, 1840. So I come in here, I'm going to put in 0 0.01662. 1840. So as you can see that that's a drop of about 11%, just under 10%. Now if I come back to my bot settings, I've got it down here to set to, to, to drop to 10%. So if it carries on that same pattern, you know, it will buy down here and then hopefully sell a little bit higher and then it won't buy back in again until the price gets back down from, you know, 10%. So I'm happy with that setting. Now, what we can also do here is I want to do this uh, average setting. So that's this one here, this green one. This is on an average setting. And I'm going to set this to 1.5%. Uh, this one here, I'm going to leave that because if it buys this, this lot here, this number one, I want it to sell that as soon as possible with a bit of profit so it brings down the dollar cost average of this one because this one, I want it to sell a higher profit so that's what i've done there uh, i'm not going to touch the retracement i'm going to leave that and i'm not putting auto compound i don't want to compound and i'm going to leave it on uh this setting here this green setting so the bot will keep rinse and repeating and then all i need to do is come up here and give my bot a name now what i like to do is i like to say the amount that i'm trading with so i just put in there 50 dollars. then i want to do the uh the avg take profits and I've got that set at 1.5 and then I've got the independent take profits and that's set at 0 0.8 which is which is the default setting so that's what I like to do so I can see at a glance what how this bot is set up I can oh and the other thing I like to put is how many lots so I can now see from this bot name because this bot name is only for me to look at so I can see that this bot's trading with two lots the first buy is $50 the take profits of the uh, average setting is 1.5 and the independent settings I've left at the default 0, uh, 0.8. If I was to change any of these other settings, you know, like this retracement, I'd put that in the title as well. So I'm already good to go with this robot. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you how to set your bots up. I'm just showing you what I do with some of my bots is I don't want the bot to spend lots and lots of money on one token i'm happy for it to do a couple of trades um, if the price keeps dropping and then what i can do you know let's say that this price goes down way below the 10 percent and i think it's you know it goes down to 20 percent, for example and i think that's the bottom i could just come and add another lot then that bot could start trading on the lot too and start to bring down and i would set my keep profits at a low level and that would start to bring down the dollar cost average of the bots, you know, lots above, because the price may never recover back to what it initially bought in. And that's why I like to do two lots or three lots. And then if I want to, I can just add another lot. So I'm gonna come up the top now and click save. And then what we do is we'll uh, look for that bot. So I'm just gonna filter it and there it is there. So that's the bot that I'm now waiting for. And I can click on this magnifying glass. And it, it won't do anything because I haven't refreshed the screen. And also, the price needs to go up a little bit. At the moment, the price is on its way down. So it's not going to do anything at the moment. The price has got to go back up by 0.01%, I think it was, in the settings there, before it will buy in. So this could go all the way down here, keep going down, and the bot won't buy in. So let's look at this example. You know, Let's say I started the bot here. Then the price would have gone down, gone up a little bit, the bot wouldn't have bought in. The price would have gone down. The bot still wouldn't have bought in. And then the price would have started to go up. So the bot would have bought in somewhere around here. And that's exactly what I would want it to do. And then the price would go up, have a little bit of a, a retracement. And because I've set my take profits that little bit higher, it wouldn't have sold there. It would have gone up. It may well have sold around here, depending on you know the fluctuation. I don't know how much that is in percentage-wise off the top of my head here it could have sold there but if it didn't it would have definitely sold around somewhere up here so i would have picked up quite a nice bit of profit but at the moment the bot's going down so it's not going to do anything right at this moment it's going to wait 
for that price to start to go up again. So I've zoomed in a bit here and you can see now that the price is starting to move back up. And if I go over to my bot, I can see that it's done a buy into the market. So the price started to go back up and then my robot uh, bought into the market. So that's how easy it is to set up a trading robot with Johnny Blockchain using the decentralized trading robot that trades on PancakeSwap. Might add that's the world's first trading robot trading with pancake swap so if you want to get access to this amazing robot and make the daily rois this is a real trading robot your funds stay inside your metamask wallet if you're using the decentralized trading robot if you're using the centralized one that's working with binance.com at the moment going to be uh, adding binance.us your funds will stay inside your binance account you don't put any funds that's traded with inside johnny blockchain they stay inside your wallet so if you're interested to get access to this robot then below this video you'll find a link click that link it's going to take you over to johnny blockchain and in the top right hand corner you'll see that there's a sign up button or in the bottom left hand corner there you'll see there's a registration you click on either of those that will take you to this screen where you pop your name your email address create a password put some ticks in these boxes and then click on this blue button to complete your sign up it's free to register, okay? It doesn't cost you anything. And if you want to get set up with a, a decentralized trading robot working on PancakeSwap, that costs you $25 a year and you can set up as many robots as you like. So if you want to join a trading robot that really works, click the link below and come over and create your free account with Johnny Blockchain. You have a great day and happy trading.